definitely laughing at me, Mike. Exactly. Love that. <laughs> I get puffed out from talking like this. Being very harsh. This can be no video. Just wanted to stop right here and say this was all filmed before the lockdown, just in case you were worried. Carry on. Today's video is a little bit different to normal. I'm going to share with you a week's worth of sewing, what I can realistically achieve in one week. I have three young children at home aged four, almost three and 15 months, and I am 26 weeks pregnant with our fourth baby. If you've never been to this channel before, then welcome. My name is Marie, and on this channel, I'd love to motivate mums to make and mend. If you're a busy mum or busy grandma or just a busy person like me, I'm sure that you too would find it hard to find the time or the motivation to get sewing. Evelyn Wood set out a sewing challenge last week to say that we should set some goals and a time frame and see how much we can achieve within this one week. I have so many sewing projects that have been tucked away or neglected that I just need to tackle. These boxes behind me are stuffed to the brim with things that need to be mended or altered and I just need to get onto it. So this is the week I'm going to go through these, see how many projects I get done and at the end of the week hopefully have a nice satisfying pile to show you of all the things that I have sewn this week. It's currently Sunday the 1st of November and it's 1.30 in the afternoon. My two girls are having a nap and my son is having his independent quiet time which he does every day for about an hour and a half. So the first project I'm going to work on this week, I have here these two purple scrap fabrics here that I have, this purple minky fabric and this quite thick cotton here. And I'm going to be making a cover for my dog's mattress. Let me take you with me and I'll show you, show you the situation. <laughs> Hold please. Trixie is our six-year-old golden retriever and she's just had ACL surgery in her knee so she's feeling pretty sorry for herself and uh, not quite herself. This dog bed that Trixie's sitting on we've had for quite a few years now and it's starting to get a tear in the top of it especially because Trixie's been stuck inside for the past week so it's been used a lot more than it usually would and knowing that the next... gosh your breath smells. Knowing that Trixie's gonna be stuck inside for the next four to eight weeks, I think it's a good time that I actually do make a cover for this mattress before the top of it splits the whole way. And then if that happens, she will probably want to just pull all the stuffing out of the mattress. So I really need to get her around to it now before it gets any worse than it is. So this mattress here will be the first project that I will start in this week, showing you how much I can achieve as a stay-at-home mum of three kids, pregnant, also looking after a dog with an ACL injury while renovating our house. We'll see how much I can get done. So let's get making. Can you say let's get making? My mum's naming week. I cut out large rectangles for the front and back of the mattress and then I cut out a long thin rectangle to use as the gusset which will give the mattress some depth. Then I made a handle and attached it to one side of the gusset and started with that side to sew it onto the backing. So for nap time today, I filmed the beginning of this video and I have cut out the pieces that I need and started to sew them. So this is the front of Trixie's mattress and this is the back piece of Tri Trixie's mattress cover. It's got this opening here so that you can put the mattress in and out and take it off to wash it. So that's that piece is the back and I have sewed the handle onto this part of the gusset ready to sew that on. It's now Sunday evening, it is almost 8 o'clock, the kids went to sleep at 7 and then I have come and I've got the first part of this gusset here sewn onto the backing. I started with the side with the handle and then I've turned this corner here and now I'm going to sew the rest of this gusset all the way around um, this back part and then I'll do the same for the front. To sew the corners, I just sewed straight down the edge and then put my needle in when I got to the corner and then I just manipulated it so that gusset edge was against the next side of the edge. It's almost 9 o'clock and I've finished sewing the minky fabric to the gusset so now I'm ready to turn it back in the right way and then put it onto Trixie's bed but she's currently sleeping on it so I'll probably put it on tomorrow morning and uh, I'll insert some footage now of what it looks like on her bed when it's all complete. You guys are gonna rest. Can I sleep? Yeah. <laughs> can I sit? Um, we can move further. Okay, Do you wanna sit here too, Ali? If you're a new sewer, I definitely don't recommend that you sew with minky fabric. It's really 
quite difficult because it's quite stretchy and it just moves a lot. It's slippery and shifty and stuff. So we got there eventually. I did have to unpick a section, but if you're new to it, then don't go with <laughs> don't go with minky fabric. It's currently just about to go 9 o'clock p.m. on Sunday. So we're going to pack up our little sewing station here and change it from this to this. I've set out my computer and all the things I need to edit some videos. I've got about an hour left until bedtime, so I'm going to edit my video that's going up before this one, which is the best sewing projects that you can make for a new baby. So if you haven't watched that, I'll leave it linked. So I'm going to do a bit of work on that and then it'll be time for me to head to bed. So it's now Monday evening. Um, I've spent the past half an hour maybe just doing a bit more editing. I did a bit of editing of the video at nap time as well, but I didn't bother filming because it's just the same as I was doing last night. I need to uh, get a little super glue situation happening here. So I'm going to glue this back together again and then uh, find some sewing projects to do. This here is a pile of hand-me-down black leggings. They're all in size 3 and there are this many of them. Isabel doesn't need this many size 3 leggings but what she does need is some more shorts. It's spring at the moment and the weather is getting nice and warm. It was 32 degrees today and Isabel's needing a few more pairs of shorts that fit her in a size 3. I thought I would take some of these excess leggings that we have as hand-me-downs from a bunch of people and I'll chop them down and make some bike shorts and I think that will serve her really well for the spring and summer. So I've got that project to do too. So quite the pile here. Then I went through the pile of different projects and worked out what I wanted to prioritise this week. Let's move all this aside and uh, let's get mending some jeans. The hole in my jeans was more like a slit, so to close that over, I first reinforced the sides of the fabric using a blanket stitch on both edges, and then I sewed both edges together just using a standard simple slip stitch. Lane had a much more extensive hole in his jeans that I needed to patch up. To do this, I ran my thread going left to right multiple times to fill in the gaps and then I started going from the top to the bottom weaving in and out of my horizontal stitches. This was able to fill in the gap and essentially make a new bit of fabric to cover up where the hole had been. I filmed a lot of this process so I'll put out a more detailed video in the future showing you a more extensive tutorial of how you can do this too. So I think it's been quite a successful evening doing a bit of my video editing, getting these jeans fixed. Um, what else did I do? Did I do anything else? No, not really. And that is my Monday night and we'll leave it there and I'll pick it up again tomorrow at nap time. So it's now almost two o'clock in the afternoon. The girls are down for their nap and Elijah is just in the other room there in the lounge room doing his quiet time. And Lane is home from work today. He works from home on a Tuesday. And this room that I'm in is actually our joint office. So he is just over there on his computer doing his work. And I am now working on fixing up his cricket gloves, which he damaged yesterday at cricket. The hole in the thumb has been pretty easy to close over. That's what I'm working on now. I'm just closing it over similar to the way I did the hole in my jeans yesterday. And then I'll move on to the hole in the wrist, but it's made out of this leathery material and I don't know, I don't think it's going to be very sturdy just hand sewing it properly, especially because it's going to get a lot of wear when Lane uses it, catching very hard and fast balls, so I don't think it's going to hold for very long, but I'll do my best and uh, we'll see how many more games he gets out of it before I need a new glove I guess. So the next thing I'm going to work on is this shirt slash dress. I bought this at an op shop. 
apparently it's an extra extra small so I'm assuming it must be in the extra extra small in plus sizes because there ain't no way that this is an extra extra small in standard sizes but anyway I'm going to oh, I'll try it on for you and I'll show you what we're working with so I've put on the shirt and I like the design of it I like that the sleeves fit me nicely and I like the way it covers my tummy but it's supposedly a dress I'm wearing my uh, swimming shorts underneath that I made so if you missed that video when I made my maternity bathers I'll link that for you this morning the kids and I were playing in the paddle pool because it was quite a warm morning so I've just left them on this shirt dress thing um, I would like to crop it about here so it's underneath my belly and then just hem it and that will be all that I need to do on this one should be a pretty simple fix I'm going to mark on my tummy where I'd like to crop it then cut and then do a rolled hem. To make a rolled hem on a stretchy fabric, fold the edge up twice and sew it down using a stretch needle and a stretch stitch or zigzag stitch. The girls are starting to wake up from their nap, so I am glad that I finished this shirt just in time. I hemmed the bottom of it and it looks much nicer. I think it's a good fit for me now. I won't be able to do any more sewing tonight because Lena and I are doing a marriage enrichment course via Zoom tonight and I'll pick up the camera again tomorrow on Wednesday and show you what I'm working on then. So it's now Wednesday night. It's about 7.45 in the evening. The kids are down for bed and I'm going to go through some of the things that I've been working on today. This morning when I was getting Isabel ready for the day, I tried on these pajama pants of hers because I'm wanting to make them into shorts instead of three quarter pants. So I've marked on here where I want to cut them to hem them. And I also went through some of these leggings with her and worked out a good length to make them into shorts. This morning the kids and I went to our craft shop and I bought some patches which I've put on the inside here of where I've mended Lane's pants so that the stitching that I did won't come undone and it will strengthen and reinforce that part of the fabric. So I've done that on the inside of these pants here. And then Elijah told me that some of his jeans were getting holes in the knees. So we did a similar thing and put some patches on the inside of these. I didn't bother sewing them, they're just a little worn, but there wasn't really, it wasn't really too bad. So I just put the patches on the inside and actually the kids really enjoyed doing this process with me. So I'm glad to have these two pairs of jeans all mended. At nap time today, I worked on editing the video that I have due up on Friday, and I'll be doing some of that now. And then hopefully before bedtime tonight, I'll be able to re-hem those pajama pants and leggings. It's Thursday afternoon and it's almost two o'clock. So the kids are napping and doing their quiet time. And I'm finally getting around to doing these pants that I intended to do last night. But last night, I ended up just spending the time doing the rest of my YouTube video that's going up tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. I'm chopping off the bottom of these pants and then I will re-hem them and do the same with those leggings. I'm hemming these pyjama pants and the leggings in the same way that I hemmed the shirt yesterday. So to do that I'm folding the bottom up twice and then using a stretch needle and a stretch stitch to sew along the edge. Thursday evening and I've tried on the little pajamas that I fixed up for Isabel and they fit her quite nicely so I'm happy with that project being done now and I also tried on the leggings oh they're nice on you too they're a bit shorter <coughs> oh yes they're jumping <laughs> I can wear them for a long time you could but we're gonna get in pajamas in a minute so I'm going to now use this longer pair as my template to cut these last two pairs of leggings the same and sew them up and I've also got my computer uploading my video that's going up tomorrow so it's uploaded onto YouTube it's still got another hour and a half until the upload finishes it's now 9 30 at night and that's what I've been finishing off so now I'm going to do these two pairs of leggings and then probably call it a night so we're up to Saturday evening you might have noticed that I didn't do any sewing yesterday and that's because Lena and I spent the day out in the city and then had a night out at a hotel and we came back this afternoon so we we're really thankful to the grandparents who looked after the kids so we were really glad to have some time away it was really needed and we really enjoyed ourselves but now I'm back tonight and it's my last night of this week to see how much I can get sewn and the project I'm working on now is to start making a, a bit of a draft pattern of what I want the kids Christmas outfits to look like that's going to be the next video to go up after this one so I'm going to start drafting that out I have this pattern here for some shorts that I made Elijah last year 
they're now too small for him so I was adjusting that pattern and I've cut out a sample piece here so I'm going to sew these shorts together and try them on him tomorrow to see if they're going to fit him and if they do I'll make his Christmas outfit the same size as these and I've also been very loosely sketching out what I want Isabel's dress to look like so it's just a very rough drawing I did some measurements on her today and I've written on the side how big I want each of the pieces to be so if I get the shorts done I will start cutting and maybe sewing this dress together. I'm not going to show you step by step how I make each of these items because if you do want to find that out you have to watch my Christmas outfits video that's going out next time but I will show you some progress reports as the night goes on of how I'm going. I sewed the pocket bags together and then attached them to the front pieces of the shorts. Then I took the fronts and the backs and attached those to each other. Then I sewed both of the legs together and then did a rolled hem along the bottom hemline of the pants. Then I made a waistband and sewed the elastic into it and attached it to the pants and they were all complete. Wow, Zima. <laughs> It's now Sunday afternoon nap time and I have behind me all of the things that I made this week including Trixie's dog bed here as well. I mended three pairs of jeans, I hemmed Isabel's pyjama pants and cropped five pairs of leggings into shorts. I mended the holes in Lane's cricket glove, changed this dress into a shirt and I made from scratch a pair of shorts for Elijah which is the template of what I'm going to make for his Christmas outfit. I also made the new mattress cover for Trixie's bed and she's been enjoying using that. I hope you've enjoyed watching as I sew and mend all of these items this week. If you enjoyed this video then don't forget to leave it a like to let me know you did. It's a little bit of a different video for me but I hope you enjoyed it. The next video I'm posting are the kids Christmas outfits and I'll be using these shorts as the template of what I'm going to do for Elijah's shorts. If you're interested to see that video don't forget to subscribe so you can come back next time to watch how I make the kids Christmas outfits. Thanks again to Evelyn Wood for setting out this sewing challenge. I really enjoyed it and it's something I want to do more often to take a big block of time and really dedicate it to mending the whole pile of stuff that just builds up over time. So as always, I really appreciate you watching. Go get creative and I'll see you later.